What's going on guys, Cecil here. Welcome to a world where Dragon Ball doesn't really exist, which is Minecraft. Today I'll be talking about how to get honey comp in this game. So basically honey comp is that thing that, you know, get honey from. Now I'm saying you can use that honey in a lot of things, like crafting beehives and crafting honey comp blocks. Okay, not really that many things. But yeah, it's kind of an important thing to obtain. By the way, the honey bottle does not get uh, obtained from the honey comp. You actually get it directly from the beehives or uh, the bee uh, nests. But that's a completely different story. Let's just focus on the honey. I'm gonna tell you how to get the bee bottle because why not but let's just focus on the honeycomb right now Holy shit, what the hell? I just ran into the world's richest bamboo place imaginable This is literally a panda's heaven if I ever saw one. You know what? Let's spawn a panda here. Let's spawn a panda here Yeah, I think uh, I think they deserve it. So yeah, go ahead panda live the best of your life Anyways, like I was saying, uh, what the hell? What the hell is that fire? That, well, the forest is burning. Why? Why? What's happening over here? Oh, lava. Okay, never mind. What I'm saying is that in order for you to find the honeycomb, you will need to find the beehives because that's where they are generated. Now, I'm not gonna lie to you, beehives are kind of rare and you will, you know, you will suffer a lot in order for you to find them in survival. But first of all, let me just explain to you where you find the beehives. Realistically speaking, beehives exist in places where bees live. Now, where do bees live? Well, your best chance for bees to live is around flowers and specifically the sunflowers. Oh, I mean, regular flowers flowers would work too but some flowers are going to be your best bet for an example these flowers would work so yeah any type of flower is gonna work but specifically sunflowers these are not sunflowers I know they're yellow but they are dandelion that's not sunflowers that's not what it looks like these are sunflowers so in order for you to not to confuse it with a dandelion I'm gonna put them right next to each other as you can see the sunflower is kind of big and huge that's what she said I don't like saying this kind of stuff anyways yeah in order for you to find beehives you will need to look for a place where bees exist and in order for you to find places where bees exist you need to look for the flowers so basically regular flowers would work but the sunflowers will be the best bet you could ever have now where are beehives exactly you know I mean yeah you can I, I told you how to find the area of the bees where beehives could exist but where exactly are the beehives themselves basically they will exist in oak trees or birch trees you know so basically any type of short tree is gonna work because most of the trees are oak or uh, birch so uh, yeah you could actually basically look at the trees in general and you'll find them this right there for an example is an oak tree so yeah there is a good chance that you will find a beehive here if bees exist around it so beehives exist in oak trees that's fine but uh, specifically the kind of short oak trees you know so a pretty long oak tree you may, you may not find it up there but short uh, oak trees that's where your chances are getting high but I, I, I believe that they also could exist in uh, any place of an oak tree i mean not exactly any place it's near the top like for example if right here is gonna be a beehive it's gonna be right next to that uh, leaf over there if it's gonna be in this beehive it's gonna be right here so yeah it's gonna be near the top but in shorter oak trees it's gonna be better than in longer uh, oak trees also there is a good chance for you to find them in the birch trees so basically they're the same exact thing as an oak tree but instead of oak it consists of birch like that birch logs so yeah in the the kind of trees that have this kind of uh, birch log instead of the oak it will uh, still work just fine and you can find a beehive in it so we got into the bottom of this how to find the beehive you will need to look for places that have flowers and specifically sunflowers but any type of flowers would work and there should be bees around it now you can find these bees and you may find the bees and you may not but generally speaking you might find one or two bees flying around so that's how you know now where do beehives exist well in oak trees or birch trees so look into that but after you find an area that has a lot of flowers it's getting dark let me just go to the morning there you go wakey wakey after you find an area and a proof that there are bees in there that you found a bee that's flying around and you probably would because uh, it's rarely it's a rare fact when the bee exists inside a uh, beehive so if you found some bees flying around these flowers then you'll probably find a beehive somewhere next to it so just look for the oak trees or birch trees and you'll find it but like I said it's kind of rare it's kind of rare and you'll need to be kind of lucky to find a beehive in survival but I told you the basics on how to look for it anyways let's get right into how to get the honeycomb from uh, the beehive so let's look for a short tree like uh, for example this one right here bee nest it's called a bee nest all right never mind you know I made a mistake I was calling it a beehive it's a bee nest but never mind you know what I'm talking about that's the beehive it's something that you create or craft with the honeycomb but that right there is the bee nest anyways what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna spawn some sunflowers right next to the bee nest and then spawn some bees 
around the bee nest i'm gonna spawn a million bees why not they're free they're free like they are completely 100 free so let's let's spawn let's crush my fucking pc yeah that's right crush the fucking pc anyways i think i've created enough but yeah now we wait now we wait until they uh, fill the bee nest with honey now here's exactly what happens basically if you find the regular bee nest it will not be filled with honey it could be you know it could not have honey at all in it how you know is you press f3 now f3 is a magical button it's actually it tells you everything about every block you look at it like i wish i had that button real life if you can see right here i cannot point at it with a mouse but in the right in the right corner you'll find honey level equals zero that means that it doesn't have honey at all imagine having the button real life looking at everything clicking with the button knowing everything about it, it's kind of cool but yeah anyways yeah this is the honey level now in order for you to harvest honey from the uh bee nest you will need to have it at least honey level five another way to know is that you'll find some honey in it and there are some honey dropping uh from it so yeah that's also how uh, you know that the beehive bee nest it's called bee nest like for bee nest yeah exactly now anyways yeah in order for you to know if the bee nest has enough honey or not without pressing f3 you'll find some honey in it and some honey dropping from it okay let's see how uh this uh bee uh, nest is going not hype uh, honey level is zero like come on for fuck's sake what the hell are you doing guys what the hell are you doing? Come on! Just uh, gather some honey already. Alright, I'm gonna remove this one so that they focus on this one. Like, they're taking their sweet time, but take your time. I have all day. Let's spawn another trillion bees. Like, another trillion bees because I don't have all day. Like, seriously. Uh, get to work, you lazy ass fuckers. Come on! Okay, as you can see, the bees are entering the nest. So, that is good. That means that they are filling it. Okay, how how is the honey level until now? Let's take a look. I can't look at it. I can't look at it from all the bees. Oh, come on. Honey level is three! Holy shit! What? It was zero, not two minutes ago. What the? What? It wasn't even two minutes, it was two seconds. Like, good job. These bees are actually working, not the other lazy fuckers. All right, how many freaking level do we have right here? Honey level is uh, three. I always click escape instead of F3. I always click escape and I always say bee nest instead of bee fucking hive. English isn't my main language, guys. English isn't my main language, so bear with me. Go with me. Bear with me, pig. Bear with me. Come on, come on. How, how many hits do I need to hit him with a fucking egg to kill him? Like, let's just see. A uh, million, apparently. I'm losing my patience here. I'm losing my patience. Honey level is three. Honey, I clicked escape. I clicked escape. Okay, I threw something. What is it? Uh, it doesn't matter. Let's spawn another trillion bees. Why the hell not? We have all day. All day and all night. I have nothing to do today. I have nothing to do. Let's spawn an entire empire of bees. Like, come on. Okay, how the hell am I going to show you how to gather the honeycomb with all these bees around? I should have thought of, I should have thought about that. I probably should kill some of them. I should kill some of them. And they are... I'm, I'm in creative, so I'm fine. I'm a holy shit. There you go. There you go. If you look at it and you find that it's yellow like right here instead of empty that means that it's full of honey and down there you'll find it spit uh, spilling uh, honey all over the ground so that means that it's ready to be gathered also if you press f3 and look at it honey level is five that means that it's gatherable right now now how to gather the honey uh, come right now first of all let's walk away from here because the bees sound drive me crazy i mean you probably don't hear it much because i reduce the sound of the game but for me the, uh, there were like a trillion bee nee, all over the place so in order for you to gather the honeycomb from the beehive bee nest guys i mean bee nest ass uh, it's called bee nest come on in order for you to gather the honeycomb from the bee nest what you want to do is first of all you will need to create something and that's gonna be the campfire that's right the campfire is created by sticks coal and oak luck oak log not oak planks that's very important by the way because some people might think it's planks no it's by may by using the regular log that you get from the nature it's kind of realistic if you think about it. you use regular wood in real life to make the campfire you just don't use uh made wood like this one no you don't use that anyways you will need the campfire what you're gonna need the campfire for basically you will need to place it right below okay i did not i did not make it right below i didn't right i hit the target you will need to place it right below the honey uh what the what's it called it be hot be be nest yeah there we go what the hell are you doing here pig come on like i'm doing a video you will need to place the campfire right below the honeycomb that in that way if you gather the honeycomb what the hell are you doing uh, mr freaking be like come on in that way if you gather the uh, honeycomb from the bee nest the bees will not attack you in survival obviously in creative you're fine but in creative you can get everything like come on but if you need to gather the honeycomb from survival you will need to use the campfire to prevent the bees from attacking you once you get the honeycomb from it also you will get eggs from the bees but that's a completely different story i'll, I'll talk about maybe in another video anyways let's get right into uh, gathering the honeycomb from the bee nest because actually if you destroy it with your axe it's extremely rare to find so if you do that you probably should suicide or something like seriously 
I mean, it's extremely rare to fight. So you you just lost it. You just lost the only hope you got to get a fucking bee honeycomb. So you need to know this. You need to know that you do not destroy it with an axe. That's the first thing you need to know. Instead, what you do is to get yourself a shear. Yeah, that's right. You will need a shear to gather it. The shear is very easy to craft. You just place iron uh, ingots right in this uh, pattern and you will get yourself a shear. There we go. So yeah, use the shears and go into the bee nest and right click and that's it. You will find the uh, freaking honeycomb, you know, uh, being thrown all over a place and that's it. You will get yourself the honeycombs. There you go. Now you will get two honeycombs per uh, full uh, bee nest. So the honey level, uh, it's the maximum honey level is five. You can't get above that. And you can only get up to two honeycombs from a single uh, freaking uh, bee nest. And yeah, that's all about how to get the honeycomb and what's related to honey in this game. And also what's related to bees. I hope you found this video helpful. And yeah, that's all. Thanks for watching, guys. Leah, bye.